Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop board game bag check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Tonight, the question I am answering is, what is in this massive, huge box, this ridiculously large box? Uh, it is the Eclipse Second Dawn for the Galaxy Kickstarter, which showed up a couple weeks ago. I would have liked to have gotten this up earlier, but we're finally getting it up now. I'm really looking forward to cracking this box open. So first off, I am Motuzno, the Tabletop Bellhop. You can find me all over the web as Tabletop Bellhop, one word, Facebook, Instagram, MeWe, Twitter, all those places, always Tabletop Bellhop, one word. You can also head over to TabletopBellhop.com. That's our homepage where you can find all kinds of gaming content, including unboxings like this, actual plays, reviews, news, and answers to your gaming and game night questions. If you got a gaming-related question, please send it to questions at tabletopbellhop.com, where you're trying to be a dear Abby for gamers, answering your game night questions. Uh, that's about it. The other thing you can do is, before we uh, get going, it'd be awesome if you hit the follow or subscribe button so you get notified whenever we go live. Plus, we're really, really trying to get up to a 1,000 subscribers on YouTube, because that means we'll get seen by more people. So enough promotion, we are going to dig right into it. So this is the Kickstarter version of Eclipse. Um, I didn't go for every add-on and stretch goal, but most of them, I think I skipped the um, vehicle wash, which was something where they put an ink wash on all the miniatures so the details stick out better. I just didn't see that justified, plus I have my own. So there's this ridiculously huge box, just to give you an idea of how big this thing is. Uh, it does not seal, it comes that way because there's so much cardboard. Nothing on the back of the box. This is something that's becoming more and more common with Kickstarters because this will never be in retail. So there's no reason to put anything on the back of the box to try to sell this. And then with this is also the World's World Afar collection. This is Kickstarter exclusive stuff that's going to come with this. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open the main box, then we'll get back to this. So I'm just going to put this aside for now. Cash it down on the floor is probably the best bet. I'm going to get the shrink off this, and then I will tip the camera down so you can better see what I am looking at. We're going to exacto this one. Sorry. Safety knife. This one. So I have not seen the contents of this box whatsoever. So you're going to get to experience this for the first time, same as I have. I'm sure other people have done unboxing videos, but I've tried to avoid spoilers. I haven't looked at that. So this was published by Lottapivot.fi. Alrighty, so now that I got the shrink wrap off. So the massive, ridiculously large box for clips. Alright, so one of the things that was part of this Kickstarter is that game trays have done trays for all the components. So we're going to see a lot of trays here. So we have some of the trays. You know, I am going to take the lid, use that to put things in. So we can say some of the game trays here. We have the rule book, which that's a thicker one. That's, that is not a thin rule book. We'll flip through this just kind of quickly so we can get an idea. We've got some nice dark text on light background. See, I would much rather read that than this. I find this one somewhat annoying. List of components, which is great to see. Rules seem to be broken up to examples in the sidebar with text on the side. Dig that. No complaints there whatsoever. Got various setup. Lots and lots of examples. That is fantastic to see. I don't, the list of all the different technologies. All right, I am going to go through this a little quicker so you can kind of see it. That looks interesting. Some very unique looking maps that have come out during the play. Now, I have played the original Eclipse. I have not played this new edition, obviously. But I guess I could have. I could have played someone else's version. So we are going still full on rules all the way. Here we go. Now we're into some summaries. So we are looking at 25 pages of rules. So not the latest game in the world. And then we have some reference of the different races in the game. And then references for technologies and a summary on the back. I always appreciate a summary on the back. So significant rule book here. Then we've got a very useful how to fit everything in the box. So that'll be interesting once everything's punched, how to get it to fit in the box properly. Um, on the back side is how to fill the tray. So what goes where? 
To be honest, this is actually really nice. This is really appreciated. Um, there was at least one game I have purchased that came with an insert. And I couldn't figure out where anything went. Oh, this is cool. Some of this is already sorted out. So no unpacking, unboxing. Everything's already in there. All right. We're going to start by taking this one off. So this is going to have your ship parts. Um, I don't know how we can see it on the video, but it actually says Second Dawn for the Galaxy. It actually says ship parts up here. This is on nice and solid too, so chips are not going to fall out. Yeah, that seals nice. Very nice. So far. Okay, like I said, this is really cool. So, we got... I'm going to open this up so we can show off some of these minis. Way nice in the original. Like, look at that. Those were counters in the original. For the orbiters, and there's even a spot to put a cube or a die in there. I'm thinking it's a cube if I remember correctly. We got some nice purple cubes you got the obelisk obviously inspired by a certain uh, 2010 space odyssey you got obelisk I'm um, thinking these are your colony ships I'm not positive nice looking minis lots of detail on these lots of detail Then we've got the Raiders. These are the bad guys or the uh, the neutral. I don't know if you want to call them bad guys. But the um, neutral armies that would be on the board. Very cool. Those, again, were just counters in the base game. Then you got your dice. Um, they are not standard D6s. So they're six-sided. I shouldn't use a yellow. My camera's not going to like the yellow. And they do have different things on them. So, like, the orange has two hits, some numbers, and a blank side. So we've got orange, yellow, green, and red dice. Again, all different numbers on them. If I remember the original game, again, they were just D6s. So I think what they did is a 1 is a miss, so they just removed the 1 and replaced it. And then a 6 was a hit. Well, instead of telling you exactly, having to remember a blue die is 3 hits, now it just shows 3 hits, whereas a red die should be 4 hits. Yes, so red die is 4 hits. Nice dice. Little, They feel a little smaller than your standard dice, but that works. I have no complaints about these dice. So there you go, nice generic trays for things that anyone can build, any character. Oh, I, do I have this upside down? Yes. So this goes on this way. And it looks like some stuff might stack on top of this because there's there is insets here on the top of the tray to hold something. So something's gonna go in there. Man, this this is an impressive box. Look at all this stuff. So then we have baggies. Nice silk screen bag. Another baggie. Uh, this is going to be your victory point chips you pull after a combat. Again, I played the original. This is going to be your technologies. All right, here are the player things. And again, it looks like everything's going to be punched. Okay, white, my camera's not going to light. So we're going to ditch the white. We're going to quickly look at, here's yellow. Camera's not going to light that either. Camera will probably not mine blue. So we're going to take the blue one here. We're going to take the blue player's board and open this up. Yeah, there are all the bits for blue. All nice, self-contained. It looks like we got a little bit of overflow. So some of the some of the discs have spilled into where the cubes are. So yeah, here's the the blue cubes that would be used to mark um like on that Orbo who owns it. There's obviously some spots here for some chips. You've got all the blue ships. So actually, you know what? I might have to open all these up just to show you because if I remember correctly, they are all unique. Large blue ship. And then the fighters, the smallest blue ships. And then the blue space stations. And then I can't see it yet, but this board, your player board, is going to overlay on this. Once I get to the punch boards, I'm sure that's in here somewhere. And then these are your dials that are going to go in the middle to track your different resources. So I wasn't thinking about the fact the ships all look unique. So we're going to have to put blue aside. Quickly jump back to white. What I won't do is put the white lid in the camera. I will just bring this over here so you can see white spits. So again, it looks like it doesn't do a great job of separating the round disc from the cubes. But that's not terrible. You got some white space stations. You got white medium ships. Again, completely unique looking. The great big ships, the biggest ships from white. And then the fighters. Completely different looking ships from the last one. And again, this also is going to become your player board. Take a quick look at the yellow ships. Again, I'm not going to put the yellow lid in the camera. 
Well, isn't that interesting? I need to contact someone. My yellow has blue components in it. Oh, that is a bummer. That is really disappointing. I play yellow. Why do I have no yellow bits? I'm going to have to contact someone. Here's the yellow bits. Boo. Boo hiss. Here's the more blue bits. How do I not have yellow? Look at this. Two sets of blue bits. You know what? This set of blue has the, the ink wash on them. So someone messed up at the factory and I have no yellow pieces. And I got to say that ink wash, this is part of the reason I didn't pay for it. It isn't really doing much for me. You can kind of see it on there. Wow, how do I have no yellow? Come on now. So, I guess I won't be playing yellow in my copy of Eclipse anytime soon. Or at least not yellow and blue in the same game. Alright, so right, this is a six player game. So we do have black, and we'll see if black's actually in here this time. Yep, black is black. Again, these discs come out. You got black fighters. The massive QB black large ships. These are the black spaceports. Obviously somewhat Borg inspired. And then the medium ships. I'm still in shock. I have no yellow playing pieces with my copy of Eclipse. Alright, then we move on to green. Now if there's no green, my wife's going to cry. Nope, there's green. Wow, there's some interesting balancing going on here. Look at this. There we go. Uh, green, green star base, green medium ships, the only green is buggy, uh, green capital ships, biggest ships, oh, I'm having a hard time holding on to this, and green fighters, which I love the look of, the little like pod things. Okay, so green, wonder what the yellow ships look like. Then we have red. Yeah, my red's red. So red star bases. Red medium ships. These all have holes in the bottom, so I'm thinking they might actually peg on to something to stand up. Big ships from red. Big chunky ships from red. Not chunky. And red fighters. So yeah, completely unique ships for every color, though I didn't get all the colors. So this is interesting, we have some, some wasted space in a way, some packaging, and wow, check this thing out. For the center of the galaxy, that is pretty badass looking miniature. For the defense, the ancient defense center, the center of the galaxy. Really cool mini for that. Then we've got a clear purple marker. I have no clue. Yes, this is a purple, feels like glass or plastic. It might be glass, might be clear plastic. So I don't know where that goes. Now, under this insert, we're going to have the cardboard. We have... Nope, oh, not more foam. Come on. Tip forward. Look at all that. Look at all that cardboard. Holy cow. That's a chunk of cardboard. Hey, that is a ridiculous amount of cardboard. All right, let's get this foam out of the way. Let's put this down. Now I'm going to steal one of these for a second. So this goes on here. And here's where you see, like I said, you get the track. So these boards go on there to create your player board. The individual player board. So there's a bunch of these in here for each of the different sheets that are going to go on here. And then there's peg bits that are going to go in there to try to track the different things somehow. Let's see. I can take one of these. I guess that just sits on there. That seems a little strange. Maybe the instructions make it clear. This might just sit on there to turn. I have 21 pink. I'm not sure, to be honest. Some like one of the edges. I don't know. We'll find out. Still bummed I have no yellow playing pieces. That's 
unbelievable. This, I gotta admit, doesn't fit in there very well. Maybe I'm missing something, but that's bulging. Maybe there's a way to tuck it under that I'm missing. All right, then we got player boards. These are massive. Look how big these are, like wide. So your player boards should have humans on one side, yet yeah, humans on one side, and an asymmetric alien on the other. These are thicker than they look. They're, they're the thinner player boards, like they're not board game pieces. Humans on one side, aliens on the other. Oh, what's cool is it shows the actual unique ships at the top. That part's cool. All right. Let's take a look at some punch boards. I'm just going to go through these quickly so you can see each one. So soon as I am done this, I will be contacting the Kickstarter people to show them that I have no yellow paint. So I admit that's frustrating. That's very frustrating. All right. Start off with all kinds of systems. You can tell these are well punched. Stuff's falling right out as I sit here. I'm just going to put these in here. And then we'll take care of that some other time. You got scoring tokens, you got capital ships, you got your centerpiece, you got ob oh, it's interesting is they give you the obelisk tokens, even though there's miniatures. So I'm guessing uh, part of that's probably Kickstarter, where this comes in the retail version. So I have miniatures for these obelisks, but you still get the tokens. I gotta say, it doesn't look very different from the original game here. Punch boards are just falling out, which like I said is a good thing in my opinion. It means it's gonna be easy to punch. Lots more colony ships, but again, colony ships. There are miniatures for it, it looked like now. Some of these are actually described. It actually says advanced ECDS blueprints. That was something that was one of the expansions. So instead of having the main board be the same in the center, it would change every time. Huh, these actually say throw away. I appreciate that because sometimes when you're punching a game, you're not sure. Then we get into all kinds of technologies. We got the start player. Um, and then if you didn't have the Kickstarter, here's your playing boards. Or maybe these go on here instead of the paper ones. I don't know, to be honest, why why we have paper and not paper. I am guessing this is for the non-Kickstarter edition, which doesn't have these nice player trays. But I don't know for sure. Uh, you've got your trade tokens in here. I said stuff's just falling out. There's some... Summary cards, you've got all the different technologies. There are definitely enough of these for each player. Again, stuff is just falling out left and right. Your pass actions or reactions are listed here. A ton of chips and counters. And thankfully, I've got trays to put all of them in. All right, and that is the end of it. This is not going to fit back in here, obviously, part of it being that stuff came undone. So here's where you're going to put all the hexes. This piece, I have no clue. I love this thing. That is just so cool for the ECDS or whatever it's called in the center of the board. Very cool. Layer trays. Two, three across. And then three on top. I'm still in shock with my blue, my yellow. Again, look at this. Here's my yellow. Look what color's inside. What is that? Honestly, you know what? I'm going to keep these out for uh, sharing online. So again, all the neutral stuff. There's two boxes of those. And then this awesome tray for holding all the technologies. the other for in play the in play market technologies again this didn't shut when i opened it so i don't expect it to shut now big bonus of telling me how to pack this eventually couple baggies i gotta say um i'd be impressed if i got what i paid for the fact that i did not get any yellow ships is extremely disappointing especially because i play yellow 
If it was, oh, I didn't have blue ships, I actually wouldn't care as much. I'd still be upset. But So that is what you get in the base box. Now, in addition to this, we have this box. So this is the Kickstarter stuff, the Worlds of Fire collection. So we're going to open this one up next and see what we get in here. Oh, that didn't come apart very easily. I actually thought this might have been the different ships, the unique ships. Because the base game, all the ships look the same for all the races. Then it was uh, an add-on to get it so that you got more. So this opens down here. We got all kinds of stuff. So this is going to be my Kickstarter bonuses. So we have extra dice. We have a full set of extra dice. This is just so you don't have to pass them around player to player. We've got the Rift Cannon, which is some kind of new piece of technology. Um, we can open these. Yeah, why not? All right, let's take a look at what you get with the Rift Cannon. Okay, so they put these in resealable Ziploc bags, but then they stapled the cardboard on top. So the Rift Cannon has... The new Rift Cannon Technologies. A two-page set of rules. No, one page. And there's a picture on the back. And some shiny new dice that look like they do a ton of damage. These are nice pinkish dice. So they show some kind of critical hit or something. Four hits and whatever that... that one with the hole is two hits, one hit, blank, and blank. So it looks like high damage, but a higher chance to miss than your regular dice. So that's the Rift Cannon expansion. I'm not going to bother opening up the dice pack. The extra dice, you can see them. It's extra dice. They look like the ones in the game. But they're translucent, which is kind of nice. Then we have Minor Species. Yeah, these are not opening up well. Stapled and ziplocked is just kind of silly. Be nice if this folded over. Yeah, like the literally ziplocked shut. So minor species contents, nine minor species ambassador tiles, rules, and the punch board for the minor species. All kinds of neat little add-on modules to make the game more replayable and more interesting. None of these are recognized from the base game, though they may have been available as options you can buy. I'm going to clean up a little bit here. All right, there we go. Ship stands. Remember I said the ships have pegs in the bottom? We have stands for the ships. I'm not going to open those up. We have plastic stands for all the ships. Make everything look all nice and 3D. Then we have the Terran ships. So... As I said, in the original game, all the ships look the same. Well, one of the expansion packs was to give all the humans unique ships. And look, I have yellow here. So I could play with yellow humans, at least. So the thing is, these ships all look, I think, identical. And they have a definite Star Trek feel to them. Uh, yeah, they are all identical in different colors. There, that came off easy enough. So what I'll do is I'll open up one of them. The camera seems to like blue. So this is in all five player colors, and it's so that the humans can have their own looking ships. So I can technically play yellow as long as I stick with the yellow ships. So we're going to dump these out quick. So I said, there's, there's a definite Star Trek influence there. I'm sure you can tell on the standard ships, the fighters. There's a fighter. And then your big cruiser, or we could call it the, the next generation. So yeah, they, they were definitely the, some Star Trek inspiration here. And the star base also kind of looks like something you would see out of Trek. So I now have that and all the different player colors. Um, what's going to be interesting is I highly doubt these are going to fit in the player pieces so you can pick. So I don't know where these are going to go in the box. We'll see. All right, there's more in here. Oh, here's a big one. Okay, we'll leave that big one out for a second. What do we got here? More dice. Lots of dice. I wonder if there's enough dice for every player. Um, we have Galactic Events. Let's just see what's in here. All right, and that's it. So Galactic Events is smaller. We'll do this one quick. And we're just going to... 
So this has a nebula, a supernova, a black hole, and a pulsar. So eight sector tiles. These were promos. I remember seeing these available on the Board Game Geek store originally. So we're going to have a bunch of new sector tiles to do some unique stuff. Wow, I don't even know. It looks like you can get actions off that one. So sector tiles, and of course, this one's got a fairly significant pamphlet of rules to go with it. Lots of neat bonus stuff. You should see the pile I got going in front of the camera here. All right, finally, this looks really significant. From what I understand, this may be a campaign mode. Yeah, so this is the actual Worlds of Far expansion, which is harder to open than it looks. There we go. Just had to get it started. So there's a rather large tracking pad. Lots of pads. You're never going to run out of those. No one's going to play Eclipse that many times. And they're two-sided. You've got your ship part tiles, action phase. you got these like player screens. Really nice reference for everyone. Shows all the phases of the game. This is a nice bonus. This is something nice to hand out to all the players. My guess is going to be five of those. Or six. Sorry, six player game. You have six of those. So very cool. Then we have, oh, this I like these rules. Um, this was the, the turn order rules. This was a variant in the original game that I actually really liked that had to do with picking where you go based on when you pass, and these are the components for doing that. And then we have uh, a signed sheet. There you go. Look, hey, I have a sheet signed by the designer. Then we have an art book, Beyond the Galactic Veil. Or a background book? It might be background background book. Or a novella? Yeah, we have a short story, it looks like. Interesting. I see I didn't and there is art. Okay, I thought that I thought there was some kind of art book. Art book and novella. So get to know a lot more about the Eclipse universe, including some really sweet looking art. So there you go. Not a campaign rules, but uh, scoring sheet for tracking things, a couple other bonuses. A lot of neat stuff in this box. This is a cool box. This makes me glad I kickstarted this. Seeing all this extra bonus content makes me happy. So we're going to throw all this back in here. What I am concerned about, and I have no idea until I try to do it, is getting all of this to fit in the main box. Especially all these human ships. That's going to make it tight. I have no clue if that's going to fit in the original box. I don't want to damage anything here either, so let's see. Let's take these out for now. Because, yeah, I opened some of the stuff, so let's make sure I don't damage these. Putting them in. So I got some lonely fun ahead of me, punching all this, sorting it, and figuring out how it gets into all the various boxes. Got lots of extra little bits around. All right. Good enough. Good enough. Doesn't matter. Good enough. All right. So that was oh, Eclipse. Second on for the Galaxy from the Kickstarter edition with the, the bonus box with all the extra stuff in it. Lots of neat stuff in there. I would be in a much better mood about this if I had my yellow plane pieces. So if you didn't see it earlier, while I was unboxing this, when I opened up the yellow components, it had blue in them. So I have two sets of blue components and no yellow components. Except for that, this looks really impressive. The game trays, trays look great. The components are all top-notch. Miniatures look fantastic. Rules look really nice and detailed. The graphics all pop. The iconography looks good. Everything looks fantastic. I'm just really bummed out that I personally did not get my favorite player color. I play yellow. So I got a copy of Eclipse here with no yellow flame pieces. Other than that, looks really cool. Um, I do not regret backing the Kickstarter. I'm assuming that um, Vada Pilit will um, fix their problem <laughs> and get me some yellow components and I'll be much happier then. So I uh, feel a little bad showing off a game and seeing a fault with it while we're opening it. But again, man, I love Eclipse. This looks really good. Uh, the upgrade components are fantastic. Just things like the... Um, 
obelisks and the orbitals being actual physical miniatures. And the, the defense center in the middle of the board is going to look so cool. It's like a Death Star looking thing with all these spiky bits. That's neat. I love the trays. Putting this game, Eclipse, one of the problems with Eclipse is it takes so long to set up and put away that it's a pain. Now I'm going to say put away is probably going to be a little, still a little rough. Because you got to put every sort everything, but this is going to be so much quicker to set up. It's going to be here, here you go, here's your box, here's your box. Oh, it's your turn, here you go. You want to play blue, here, have this. Sorry, you can't play yellow because I don't have yellow, but if you want to play white. Uh, so, yeah, it looks really sweet. Um, uh, the other thing I don't have is I should have got a play mat, so I don't know where that is. I'm going to have to contact them and find out where the play mat is. Maybe that's shipping separate. I should have gotten the Eclipse play mat with this, and that was not in the box. I thought maybe it was going to be in another box. So, I got some emails to send, uh, but other than that, that was Eclipse, Second Dawn for the Galaxy. I Again, I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge. Everywhere on the internet, Tabletop Bellhop, go to tabletopbellhop.com. If you appreciate this video, head over to patreon.com and consider tipping your bellhop. Thank you, and game on.